bass fishing today everybody. I'm here with Enzo and we made it to beautiful Lake Champlain. Yep. This Great. is going to be my first time on my boat on Lake Champlain and this is going to be Enzo's first time fishing Champlain or? Exactly, first time too. So first time fishing good, Champlain. Good exploring, <laughs> exploration. So we got quite a few options as far as what we might be throwing. Spinner bait, chatter bait, underspin and uh, Jackal B crawl swim jig and in here in the box I got more rods in there as well we're gonna have to experiment today try different things we don't know this part of the lake but like it even looks good right here like we can maybe even start off this point if we wanted to <laughs> I'm sure we would have a chance at catching fish so okay I'll start getting us cruising out of here with the trolling motor until I get my stuff situated unless you want to start casting the bank while I get ready I'll let you hop up front and take control. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing OD. In today's video, as you guys saw, I'm out here with my buddy Enzo. And today we took the ass tracker out to beautiful Lake Champlain. And I fished Champlain before with my buddy Vince and my buddy Ben, but I have yet to do it on my own on a new part of the lake in the ass tracker. So that's what today is gonna be. We're gonna be going out in search of some largemouth specifically, but if we need to, we might try a little bit of smallies at some point. But the goal for today is gonna be those big green largies. So we're gonna have to figure out these fish on our own today. We don't have that much intel from too many people. All we know is that the lake should be on fire and the fish should start picking up and should start biting soon. I was told that last week the bite slowed down quite a bit because of the cold front that we had but we've had a few warmer days recently, so hopefully the bite picks up. Enzo's already fishing while I'm doing the intro because we got some nice reeds right on the outside of the boat launch. And since this is new to us, we might as well try it because we never know this might have fish in it right now, even though it probably gets hit every time a boat puts into the water. But it is bright and early. We got a lot to do today, a lot of water to cover. So I'm gonna get the camera away and we're gonna get straight into fishing. So stay tuned guys and enjoy the video. I'm gonna go on the chatter bait. Get you on the swim jig. Later I'm gonna switch you to the B crawl though. That's cool with you. Yep. Did you see it? I have it on that left. <laughs> no way. Largey? Yep. Hey. <laughs> Shit. I was looking at you. <laughs> oh wow. Straight out the launch. Yep. We didn't have to go very far. Show it to the camera. Right here. Baby. That was fun. On the swim jig. Oh. I was still getting the GoPro set up on the swim jig. That's sick, man. Damn. So we have a little bit of an idea that, yeah. uh... Okay. I don't know what that tells us, but... It tells us something. Oh, it's actually, that bite. it's actually sick that you're up front because you're on the camera like that. I don't know. That was, that was interesting. You got bit. Yep. I'm gonna put it on a constant forward, like a constant... Might as well cover this stretch and then... Switch you up after. I don't know what that is. Oh, I caught it while, while I was, uh, That's funny. Was it's blowing a lot more than I thought today. I mean, it's not that windy, but it's still more than I thought. I do think the frog, though, would be like the best thing to throw here because you could put it right up against the corner, let's say, and you could leave it there. Everything else we have, we got to retrieve it. There's no way you got bit off the first section and, <laughs> and we don't catch one off of this. A lot of water for us to hit today, that's for sure. There's so many, so much to do. I just got hit. No, he's not there. Swirled on it twice. I wish I had a follow-up bait. So many fish, dude. All right on the outside here. I don't understand though, whatever that fish was, it missed twice. I'm gonna try out the Kyara frog here. See, maybe they wanna hit something on top. It's a beautiful morning for a topwater bite, so gotta try it. And this is a smaller frog, so I'm gonna try getting it. Oh shit, that was a bad cast. I'm gonna bust out the chatterbait and just head straight towards the back.
Like, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Back in there, maybe? Oh, wow. Sniped. I wanted to get it near the tree, not in the tree. There's one. As soon as it hit the water. That's a big fish too, I think. Yeah. Well, we got the first one. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. It's a little chunk. <laughs> it's a little chunk. All right, guys, my first fish of the day and the first largemouth boated of the day so far. Decent little fish, nothing huge. Hopefully we could get on some more before we have to leave. We still got like five, six hours of fishing. So we're starting to maybe figure something out, but I, I kind of feel like that was just a fluke. So we're going to get this guy back. Go, go. There we go. I think that was just a fluke. Yep. I'll see it. That was just a fluke fish, eh? Random. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it was a fish. Thing is, there's no pattern with what we're doing. We're not gonna get numbers doing this, I don't think. Maybe we could get a really big one. Like, you know, we put it right in front of a big fish, but we need to find concentrations of them. You should try a frog, I'd be curious. If you're gonna do it, you should do it soon because we're almost done. Almost done covering this. What I love about frog fishing is watching how everybody fishes a frog differently. I burn my frogs. I burn my frogs. Nothing's right or wrong when it comes to frog fishing, but I f burn my frogs like way faster than that. Way faster than that. I, I work my frogs like this, look. I don't like to give them time to think. If they see it, it's either they want to eat it or they don't. What frog are you using? Yes, sir. That's a large mouth. Giant large mouth. That's a pig, dude. Don't rush him. That's a toad. That's a big largey. Really big. Good call. Get him here, get him here. Oh, that's a pig, dude. He smoked it. That's a pig. That's huge. Okay, keep him in the net. Yes, Enzo on the frog. Show that to the camera. Holy smokes, dude. What a pig. Show me the mouth. Show me the mouth. Oh my God. What a toad. We got to weigh him. I don't know if it goes five, but it might go five. Yeah, you were right. I was burning the frog. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even give it a chance. Dude, it's almost. Dude, that's, that, a, that's almost a five. That oh, goes five. That's, five. that's a five. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a five flat. What a fish, man. Look at that. Big five pound Champlain Largy. This is both our first time here. I've never fished this spot. Enzo's never fished this spot. Yeah, what a beast. All right, let's get him back. All right. What a tank, dude. Just like that. What do you have to say, man? I got nothing to say, man. Just the frog. <laughs> All about the frog, man. <laughs> that's so sick. Wow. Good job. Love me some windblown uh, cover. Some trees, some laydowns, some brush. Yeah, I think we're gonna get one here. Largy? Yep. Good one? A uh, little guy. Number three for you. Very small. <laughs> it's okay. A fish is a fish. At least you got one. My GoPro was dead. I was just changing the battery. Enzo hooked up. Oh, it's a largey. I didn't set at first because I thought it was a, I thought it was a what you call it, a pike. I thought it was a pike at first. <laughs> I really had to think twice about setting. Another decent one. That's number five on the day. 
I think that's number five. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to take a look at that little guy. I'm gonna put it right back on the big blade chatter bait. You know, is it a crazy day? No. But are we catching fish? Yes. Are we having fun? Yes. Are we learning? N maybe. <laughs> maybe. I was losing a bit of confidence in the chatter bait in this water clarity, especially with this color. But you know, it's still early season, so these fish still get fooled by bright colors like a bit later in the season when the pressure is higher on these fisheries kind of got to go a bit more natural but if i'm being honest i just don't have any natural big blade chatter baits and i want to be using that big blade i want to slow roll it enzo's using a swim jig could use a swim jig but chatter bait is a confidence bait for me at this time of year so gotta just throw what you're confident in water 62 Point two here. Oh, I just got hit on the swim jig. On the big crawl. I saw the fish dart off. Uh, little baby. Middle set. That's what I just got hit by. Same size. Oh, we, we had doubled up for a split second, dude. I just got hit right there, right outside of that patch of weeds. That's two I dropped now in two casts. That's two I dropped in two casts right there. And the, oh my God, that small. Eight. Pip squeak. That's not what I meant when I said numbers. <laughs> All right, chatterbait. All the way down there. You want to go straight there and work our way back? What is this stick? You never know, huh? You see a stick, you gotta cast at it. You did already? Shepa, <laughs> you're not using a big blade chatter bait. Oh, that patch. I'm blind. I was looking back in there in the bay. This actually looks really good. I just don't know. I just don't know. But I don't know if it is right. We have to catch off of it to know. Yeah? But you got hit? Haha. Yep. <laughs> nice. Enzo got one. That's number what, nine? Fish? Good one? Come on, real. Real. It's gotta be. If it's a fish, you can't lose tension. Enzito. That felt good. That felt really good. Zozo. Oh, la, 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 la. There's one. Yeah. Might be. He's stuck though. Not a bad one. Yeah, not a bad one. Not not a five, but good fish. Sweet. There you go. Thank you, dude. Good job. Oh yeah, on the B crawl. Not a bad one at all. On the B crawl, check that out. Yeah, crushed it. Yeah, not bad. No five, but. Great, great fish. Uh, just chuck him back. I gotta get us back on the spot. Buzz bait through this would be really good. I don't have a buzz bait though. Popping frog through this would be good too. There's one. About time. <laughs> Pip squeak. Number 13 on the B crawl. 13. About time. There's one. Good one. 
15. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take a pic of that guy. Might as well. Oh yeah. It's fatty. Short and fat. Like I used to be. Look at that guys. Oh, short and fat, largey. He's got a belly on him. Or I, su I should say her, that's probably a female, eh? Look at that fish. That's sweet. Finally, we got one off the stretch though. I'm surprised it took so long. We go in or you wanna fish those? Do you wanna push into it or you wanna just do the edge? Okay. Okay. As soon as I hit the water. It's a pretty good one. I might lose him, he's stuck on the branch. Oh, he's off. Off as in, off the branch. <laughs> Big blade is the move. Another, another good one. Number 15. Nice largey. I'm not even gonna, you know, maybe quick pose, take a screenshot, and we're just gonna get it right back. My GoPro's not recording. Um, yeah, we'll just get him back here. I was gonna do a nice release, but I don't got much battery left on the camera. GoPro's dead, I'm gonna have to change the battery on it too. But it's turning out to be a pretty good day. That was number 15. 15, 16? Apparently 16. Oh, I wish we could do all this, man, but I think I'm done. It's my back's hurting more than anything and the motor's almost dead. And I'm sure it's only gonna get better as the year goes on. More weed growth is gonna happen. Fish are gonna get more active. It smells like shit. It smells like, actually smells like shit. Bass poop, maybe? Yeah. Does ba bass poop have smell to it? it? Smells bad. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. My battery's actually, it's giving me the low battery warning. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna do my outro at the launch. And just like that, as quickly as the day started, it is now over. Enzo and I had a pretty awesome day of bass fishing. We didn't absolutely crush them, but the fact that we managed to get on, I think 16 largemouth and a couple pike was actually really, really good for us considering we were in an area we've never fished before, we've never scouted before, we just packed up and drove over to Lake Champlain to try to get on some fish and we made it happen. The key for today was fishing shallow, fishing weeds with swim jigs and chatterbaits. That's pretty much all we got fish on. I think that's literally all we caught fish on. Not for lack of trying other patterns as far as our baits and location, but that ended up paying off for us. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. Comment down below for what you guys want to see in future videos. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to be notified as to when I post a new video. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, head over to www.fishingod.com, pick up some merch. I got toques, I got hoodies, and I got my Lightroom presets for sale if you want to take your photo editing game to the next level. My Lightroom preset packs were designed specifically with fishing photography in mind, whether that be with your mobile device or with a camera. My presets are made to look good on fishing pictures. So if you wanna flex on Instagram a little bit, head over to my site and pick them up. And don't forget to tag me in your pictures using my presets. Enzo, come here. You see? The highlight of today definitely has to be Enzo's five pounder on a frog. It's true, we got a frog fish. It's true, I, ca I said swim jig, I said chatterbait. The one. Enzo got one frog fish and it ended up being a five pounder. Definitely the highlight of the day, what a beast. You're probably pretty happy with oh, that. It was, a, it was a good fish, man. That's was, sick, I can't believe that. First time on Champlain. First time on Champlain, it treated him well. Yeah. I wish I could say the same for myself. Uh, I still have yet to get, I think anything over four pounds on Champlain but we're gonna make it happen this year, guaranteed. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.